of what it looks like. Let's just set that. <clears throat> Lovely. Oh, hello. Hey guys, how's it going? Elliot here again. In today's video, we are going to be looking at quite possibly the best handheld that was ever released. I made a video not too long ago on this PSP kind of knockoff type thing, which was uh, really, really good. Uh, the games worked seamlessly. So it doesn't seem to be able to move left or right. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a cheaper version of that. Now, I didn't think that was possible, and then this arrived at my doorstep. Quality already, we've got a nice bag. Now, let me just find the total price that I paid for this. One pound and three pence. One pound and three pence, and there was 9p shipping. I mean, how did this arrive at my door from Hong Kong? for one pound and three pence. Bearing in mind that Hong Kong is a pretty far away place from mine, it came down in like two weeks maybe. Without any further ado, let's have a look at it. Don't get your hopes up. All right, so this is what the previous one looked like. I feel like we should just get this get this out just as a, uh, a medium of comparison, if you will. So as you can see, it is the JJ8214A1. Uh, 5608DO4, which I think more companies like Nintendo should use names a little bit more like this. You know, it really rolls off the tongue a lot more than things like DS. So, first thing I'm noticing, I thought it was going to be pretty much exactly the same size as this, but it's definitely a little bit smaller. We, we seem to have a very similar size screen to this one, uh, but it's definitely, definitely a lot smaller. It does actually come with a uh, screen protector, which goes, oh look, it says switch on it. It says switch up here as well. Is this a Nintendo Switch? We've got a screen protector on here, which is great. Screen protectors are fantastic. If we can actually get it off there, that's the, oh my God, I don't, that doesn't seem to be working at all. Oh, there we go. It's like some industrial screen protector. Oh, satisfying. So the plastic on the top has kind of molded over, which is good, but other than that, it looks relatively competent. I guess it's for a pound, what can you really expect? Um, let's put some batteries in. So the fact that this takes two AAA batteries really, really hurts my brain, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, oh, it's already on. That's a good sound. How do we turn it off? Oh, press the switch button. Um, it is quite depressing to think that a Game Boy Pocket takes two AAA batteries, and so does this as well. Um, but anyway, let's turn it on. Oh, there we go. Um, okay, it's the start button up here. Um, if you guys haven't seen this video, this didn't work. The, uh, the, the left and right button didn't work, so you could only move it up and down. Which um, So as long as this can move left and right, we've already beat the other one. We've also got silicon buttons on this, or silicone, or whatever, however you want to say it. Although it really feels like you could pull them out. In fact, I think I just did that. Oh dear. Uh, these ones have these really cheap, horrible, nasty buttons. So this one actually feels nicer to hold than, I mean, it's, it is absolutely tiny, but it feels nicer to hold than this other one here. So let's have a look then. How do we, uh, how do we start? We have actually got some sound here. I don't know what, what sound that is, but how do we start? So, um, There we go. Yes! Our, our side to side buttons work. Very minimal ghosting. <laughs> You'll have to excuse the slightly orange lighting. I've got a light here just pointing directly onto the actual screen so we can see what we're doing. Bearing in mind, I'm also standing in front of a window, so the fact that this isn't working is uh, pretty appalling. But let's press start up here and let's try and get one or two lines. That is our aim. Oh man, this is really difficult to film. <laughs> the screen is so bad. If we get two lines, then we've won this game. If, you, if you've been on this channel for any amount of time, you'll know that I'm pretty damn good at playing games. Are we playing Tetris for one pound or is this just me? Oh no, 
Oh no, what am I doing this one? There we go. We're playing Tetris for one pound, guys. I'm pretty certain to... Oh no, what happened there? I'm pretty certain Tetris on the Game Boy costs less than one pound. And you could be playing it on a blooming Game Boy. Oh man, the screen. Oh, how have I broken this already? We've just started. I'm going to blame it on the screen. Well, I don't think you guys in the comments are going to be quite as... Uh... Oh, sugar. Wait, where is... This is unbelievable. Why is that like a right angle as opposed... What is that? It's like a one by one right angle. Oh, here we go. This is what we need. This is what we needed. Two lines incoming. Yes, lads. Okay, let's turn that off. So what do I think of it then? I mean, it, it, it's absolutely awful, but it works. It works. For one pound, we have gotten a Tetris machine here that works. You could be super hipster sitting in the bus playing this absolute cheese wedge of plastic from Hong Kong and it works for Tetris and and a doorstop. Thanks very much for watching this video guys. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.